sometimes we need to group or classify our data. For example, we may need to classify our movies by their genre. We want to know how many action or comedy movies we have. So let's introduce the concept of genre in this project. Here in this package, let's add a new class, call it genre, and then change the type to enum. Now in this enum, we're going to have three values, like comedy, all in capital, because this is a constant, action, and thriller. Now, let's go to our movie class and introduce a new field, private genre. We call it genre. Now press Alt and Enter and add a constructor parameter to initialize this field. So over here, you can see our constructor is going to have three parameters, title, likes, and genre. Refactor. Now here we also need a getter for getting the value of this field. So bring up the generate palette and generate a getter for this field. Now, just like before, we move this down where all our getters exist. So with these changes, we go back to our demo class. We should give this movie as a genre. So let's say genre dot thriller, genre dot action, and genre dot action again. Now we want to classify these movies based on their genre. So first we get a stream. Then we use the collect method. And this time we're going to use a different collector for grouping or classifying our movies. So we use the collectors class and call the grouping by method. Now this method is overloaded. The version that we use most of the time is the first version where we pass a classifier. This classifier is a function that takes an object and determines how we're going to classify or group our data. In this case, we want to classify our movies based on their genre. So here we can use a method reference because we're referencing a method, right? So movie double colon get genre. Now look at the result. We get a map of genre to list of movies. So each entry in this map is going to tell us what movies we have for a given genre. Take a look. Print result run. So for the action genre, we have a list of movies. These are the two movie objects we have. Now to see the name of these movies, we have to overwrite the two string method. Now back to our grouping by method. Look at the second version. Here we can pass a classifier and a collector. So all the collectors you learned about in the last video, we can use them here. Let me show you. So I'm going to put this on a new line so you can see clearly. As the second argument, once again, we use the collectors class to collect the result into a set. Now, look at the type of result. So we get a map of genre to set of movies. Or we can use the counting collector to count the number of movies in each category. Take a look. So we have one thriller movie and two action movies. We can also join the name of these movies using a comma. So here we use the joining collector. However, this collector only works on a stream of strings. But here we're dealing with a stream of movie objects. To fix this problem, we use another collector called mapping. With this, we can map each movie to a string object. And then we can use the joining collector as the second argument. Let me show you. So I'm going to put this on a new line. So here we use a meta reference like movie, get title, and then collectors dot joining. So we get the title of each movie and then join them using a comma. Let me reformat this code so you can see clearly. So these are the arguments of the mapping method. Now let's run the program and see what we get. So in the action category, we have these two movies, and in the thriller, we have this movie. 